Once again, I'm sharing with you 25 of my favorite Amazon finds. So many of these are viral, best-selling, and I can't wait to get into that with you. Hello, my friends, and welcome to my Amazon video. I try to do two of these videos a month. My next one will actually be all for guys, gifts for guys. It will be a wonderful video because my husband basically helped me pick all of these out. So I'm excited for that one to come up, but I'm excited for this one too because I have a range of a ton of different stuff that I can't wait to show you. So we're gonna get into the video, but before we do, I have a numbering system where I put a number right here from one to 25. I'm hoping that's about how many we have today. And there will be that number up on the screen the whole time I'm talking about a specific product. And you don't have to remember the product or the name of it or anything. You just jot down that number or remember it, open up the description box down below and all everything down there will be numbered one to however many. And you can look at the number, say it's number two, next to number two will be the item and the link and you can shop that way if you'd like to. So let's get started. And I always love to get started with what I'm wearing. And that is this adorable top. And I will th uh, throw up right here a full length of me in it. I love this t-shirt. I own it in three colors. I own it in a green and I own it in a coral pink. And I love it because it is so easy to wear. Super stretchy, super, super lightweight material. And I think it's so much fun with this interesting detail on the neckline, the crisscross and then the one band there. I just think that is so much fun. And then of course, I always like to show you my earrings. These earrings are a very lightweight resin earring. So they are plastic and I like that because they're not gonna tarnish for one thing, but I also like the blue hoop in here. It catches all the different blues that I wear. So just about any blue that I wear, this goes with with really well. So that will be linked for you below as well. And so that was the first two since this is a beauty channel. Let's talk about some beauty to begin with. The next one is from Pacifica. Now I've been talking to you a lot about self tanning, about sun protection, all that kind of stuff in a lot of other videos. And I did not know that Pacifica made a setting spray with an SPF in it. So I'm really excited about this one. I've used it a couple of days and this one is the SPF 45 Set and Protect Matte Sheer Setting Mist. It says it has vitamin C and C minerals in it and it has UVA and UVB protection in it and Pacifica is a cruelty-free and vegan brand. This has a very coconutty smell to it, just so you know that. A lot of people don't like having fragrance in their cosmetics, which I totally understand. But as far as using it, it is, has this really super fine mist on it. It works really well, and it really doesn't make your face wet at all because like it says, it is a matte. This is nice to be able to put in your bag and reapply your sunscreen throughout the day on your face if you don't want to disrupt your makeup. Maybe you're going to an outdoor event or an outdoor wedding. So this would be really good. This is also really good for somebody that has a lot of oil production. Alcohol will absorb the oil. It's just the way it is. Now, everybody else, you really don't want to dehydrate your skin that much, but using this to reapply occasionally is fine. I have extremely dry skin and I did use this as my setting spray today and it doesn't seem to affect my makeup and my skin still feels very dewy. So first product, I am definitely loving it. And the next ones are from Can Make. Now I've spoken about Can Make on my channel before, specifically the Pearl Lavender Powder. This is their pressed powder. And I've talked about this many times because that Pearl Lavender one is going to brighten you up, especially if you're anywhere from medium light to the very fairest. And it finally came back in stock on Amazon and that is why I'm showing it because it's been out of stock for such a long time. Now, this one is called the Marshmallow Powder. They're a very smooth, very buttery powder. I wear these more in the summertime because they are a little bit more on the drying side. But if you're one of my oily skin gals and you have that problem during the day, you are going to love this. You're absolutely going to love this. And if you're someone that gets a little bit of the T-zone oiliness throughout the day, you're gonna love that too. That's actually what this lives in my purse for is to touch up through these areas. So really good powder, really good price on these, nice packaging, really pretty on it. I've talked about these several times on my channel. Another product that I actually heard about from Kimberly from Pretty Over 50. This is from Vi Beauty, V-I-E-B- 
B-E-A-U-T-I eyelash growth serum. And I bought this one because I wanted to try it out and test it against my love forever is X Lash. And no, it's not X Lax, it's X Lash. <laughs> and so this is the one that I have used for five years. It makes my eyelashes grow like crazy, but I usually have only been using this once at night. And I wanted to use this one to see if I could boost them even further and use this one in the morning. And I can tell you right now that it is making my lashes feel much thicker with using the two of them. Now you don't need to be extra like I am. You could go one or the other, but I will tell you that this tube right here is the three millimeter and this tube is the six milliliter, millimeter, milliliter, milliliter, there we go. So that means that the X Lash has double the amount that this has in there. So even though this might be a little bit more, you're almost getting there with this one when you buy two tubes of it. But really I like the effect that it's giving in making everything thicker. Another product you guys have all been asking me over and over again, what do you use for yourself tanner? And I mentioned this a couple of times. It's the one that I'm using right now is the Saint Tropez Bronzing Water Mist. And this is the Globe Boosting Vitamin C and D. And this one says it's for the body. I use this on my face too. My face, my neck. I use this everywhere. So I'm finding that I love this because you can just mist it on. You don't have to rub it in if you don't want to. You can, but you don't have to. And it just really works really well. And then the other one I got told about from one of you is the Tan Lux the Butter. This is the Illuminating Tanning Butter. This is a huge size that I think I got off of HSN, but you can try the smaller size on Amazon and see if you like it. It's a great body butter, but it actually gives you that gradual tanning too. So you get the super hydration along with your tanning. And I really like that. One thing I did find very recently is a YouTuber was talking about this brush and this brush is phenomenal. This is a huge body brush and this is not a cheap brush by any means, but this brush is so nice to spread this lotion on with. And I will just, you know, squirt it on there, rub it around a little bit, and then use this to buff it in just like you would buff in makeup. And it, it, can, it cleans up fantastic, as you can see. I cleaned it especially for this because it was getting kind of kind of bad <laughs> but this is a heavy duty brush super thick and really easy to do your whole body and you can make sure that you're getting your whole body because of how big it is so this is a great brush and i would recommend that one for sure also wanted to show you what i use for shampoo and the reason that i wanted to show you this is because i've been getting been getting a lot of questions about my hair. I talk about my hair falling out all the time. I am not one that does stress easily. Uh, when I get under stress, especially like what happened to me around the time my dad died, my husband got hurt, my son got hurt. I did not handle that stress easily. Oh, I got COVID at the same time too. So that was just a whole ball of nasty and my hair started to fall out so a couple products i talked about the actual topical product that i use i can list that one for you too but this is about the shampoo you want to use something that has biotin in it which is the vitamin that actually protects the hair follicles so good to you know stimulate the hair follicle but you also want something that is going to be a dht blocker which is the hormone that attacks the follicle and you get the hair fall and that is where you really fall get into trouble is when that hormone is overreacting, overreacting, overproducing in your body. So this one has a DHT blocker in it. And so it prevents the hair fall and it also helps treat your hair too with the biotin in it and the other things that it has in it. So it's going to really help your hair become stronger. And it's for men and women. There's, you know, either one. And anytime something says men on it for hair, my dermatologist told me that that you know, that's kind of just a gimmicky thing. Um, if you have really bad hair fall, you want to use that really high strength, which is the one that they put for men. You're not going to grow hair on your face if you're using something topical up here on your, on your scalp up there. Anyway, at least I didn't grow hair on my face because of that. It was, you know, menopause. It was lovely. Anyway, this is really good. I've been using it for a couple of years and it's just a really great strengthening and treatment shampoo. 
Okay, now we've done kind of all of the beauty items, a couple of oddball weird items that I want to talk about. Um, the first one is a cream that my husband's been using. Many of you know that he had his operation on his knee because he detached his tendon and his muscle. It was lovely. We've had the operation there. And then my son had an operation like, I don't know, it was like six weeks later. And then he fell after that. And now he's got to have another operation on his arm. Well, he can't have an operation on his arm until his foot heals. So they gave him this cream. We went and found it that you can buy over the counter. So they just basically gave him a prescription, same exact thing and same exact dosage or percentage as there was in the prescription. This is, I'm not gonna be able to say it, Diclofenac Sodium Topical Gel, 1%. Arthri arthritis pain reliever and it's an inset. What's really great about this for my son is that he has um, some upper GI problems and he can't take any NSAIDs. He can't do anything for anti-inflammatory. So putting this on topically, it doesn't mess with your digestive system. You just get it topically. And I can attest for myself. I had my husband put this, I had a, a shoulder right here that was just in a knot. And this is a really great cream. We buy it in a two pack as big as we can possibly get it. This was a new one that I pulled out of my husband's drawer to show you guys, but it absorbs in really well. It has a slight alcohol smell in it, and I'm assuming that is because it probably has enough alcohol for it to absorb into your skin quickly, and that is would be really the best way to penetrate is to go in as fast as possible, and it really helps soothe those achy muscles, so really have been enjoying that one. And then also another lifestyle one, I don't know if any of you have ever heard about the Natural Vitality Calm product. Now this is a magnesium product that is sold over the counter and basically all it is is magnesium. If you've ever taken milk of magnesia, that is a magnesium product. That's what these are. These are the anti-stress gummies. Now that's what Calm the Calm is for. You can get this in a powder formula and then you can also get it in these gummies. And I have been enjoying these because it doesn't matter where I'm at, I can take this. And you guys know that I have hand, hand tremors so bad. Why did I do that? My mouth is watering now. So I can take three or four of these and it really does help calm me down and level me out. I have super bad anxiety attacks and I was drinking calm like three or four times a day. When you first start out, you need to start out slowly because it will affect that digestive system and get the juices rolling down there if you know what I mean. So magnesium is known for that, but it's also very calming for the nerves. Like I've spoken to you guys before about PTSD. I have that and I can get in the middle of a panic attack. Maybe I'm in a store and I'm, I've got that fight or flight instinct going. I can take a few of these and calm down very quickly. So again, please check with your doctor before you start any supplement like this, especially if you're taking other medications. Let's talk about the kitchen. Um, this is so cool. Okay. A lot of times when you have a bottle of oil, unless you're using a measuring um, spoon, you're not going to know how much you're putting in your food. So if you're counting calories or you don't want a lot of oil in your food, you definitely need to measure. This does it for you. This is so awesome. So this, this is olive oil that I have in here and you can see that it has the tube right down there. And this just dispenses the olive oil up into here. And right up here, you have the teaspoon measurements. So I've just put in there one teaspoon. And then if I kept going, I could keep going up until however much you want up in there. And then you can just tip it over. It doesn't have to be opened up, although you could if you wanted to, but you just tip it up and it just dispenses your oil out and it comes out in a drizzle. What could be smarter than, you know, being able to measure it without getting an extra measuring cup out or spoon out? I just think this is great. Then another lifestyle thing that I thought was great that I discovered very recently are these from Shout. Now, I have the Tide Pen, but it always seems like that Tide Pen runs out when I need it the most. These are packets. So all you have to do is if you get a spill on you or, you know, something, I don't know, on your car seats, whatever, you just take one of these little packets and you rub it on and it's just like using the Tide Pen, but you're never going to run out because you know when you're getting low. And I think there is, this is a package of 12. I bought two of them so I could have some in my car, some in my purse, some in my husband's truck. These are great and they just take away the stains so you don't have to worry about that 
that later, especially if you spill something on your clothes and you know that you're not going to be able to get it out later. Great, great product. All right, let's, I should have talked about this when we were in the kitchen. Um, this one right here looks like a big bottle of liqueur and it's not. This is a big bottle of sugar-free orange syrup. This is from Torani. This is so good. Okay, I've been buying some sugar-free syrups from places like Home Goods or Marshalls or TJ Maxx, that kind of thing. It's nothing like this. This is so much better. This is a really, really good syrup. Now, it's not a syrup in like you can pour it on a pancake. It's just watery and that's because it's sugar-free. My husband loves this. He's a diabetic and my son is a diabetic as well. So they have a ton of different flavors of this stuff. But this one is the orange one. He has gotten hooked on an orange coffee. I know it sounds really gross, but it's good. Uh, an orange coffee that they have at Dutch Brothers here and a little bit of cream in it and he got so hooked on it i'm like oh man you are spending a ton of money you got to find something so he'll just mix up one uh cup in our keurig and he'll put a little bit of half and half in it and this and it really satisfies that so it's almost like an cream sickle coffee type thing i know it sounds awful to me but it tastes good and so these are great they are really really good you need such a little tiny amount of it to give the flavor and then oh, it's actually quite concentrated so you get quite a bit of sweetness out of it too. Those are yummy as well. I actually just heard about this from a YouTuber and I don't remember who it was, but this is a pizza cutter. And I always am worried about pizza cutters. Either they get too dull or they're out in the drawer and you're having a hard time and you know you don't want to like slice your finger off. So this pizza cutter specifically sits in its own sheath right here. So you can store it into a cupboard instead of having it down in a drawer, which I think is fantastic. This one still has, we still are protecting it with the sheath, the plastic sheaths that come on it. But this is super duper sharp for one thing. You can also take it apart. I don't know if I can do it or not. I don't want to like get myself or anything, but it comes completely apart. There it goes. Comes completely apart. So you can put this part in the dishwasher. I would not put this part in the dishwasher because with this particular kind of thing where it's a disc and you want to be careful with it, you don't want to put that in the dishwasher because of fear of it getting too dull. It's ergonomically built for your hand. Store it out of the way, away from little hands, away from people that might get cut on accident, and it's very sharp and very easy to use. I love it. Okay, one more thing for the house, and then I'm done in the house. This is for your laundry room, and you're probably going, what the heck? So this is a lint holder or a garbage can for lint basically but that's not the best part of it the best part of it is it has a huge magnet on the back and it'll stick onto the side of your washer or your dryer so it's right there on the side i always have a problem with either having the white plastic garbage can on the top and it just looking terrible all the time and i just this is kind of a dress up type thing. So I just thought this was really cute. It has a little acorn detail on it right here. And it does have a place where you can hang it if you want to, but don't hang it. Just put it on your, you know, on your machine, one of your machines, and it sticks on there really solid. And you'd be surprised how much it can hold. It also comes with a brush that I will put up on the screen. It also comes with a brush that you can clean your entire lint trap out. So it's got these really, really long handle bristles that go all the way down. You take your lint trap out, it goes all the way down and grabs all of the lint that's down in there genius. All right, so a few fashion things left and then we'll be done. So these sunglasses, not only do I love these sunglasses and the way they look, I just think they are so fashionable. They have the detailing that goes right here across the um, arm of them or whatever you call that, the, the pokey thing that goes over your ear. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called right, now, called right now, but I love the frames. I love that they're the big frames. I always love a huge Jackie O frame. I think they're so great. And they're green. I just thought, why not have a pair of sunglasses for what you love as far as everything you do? And then I found this hat, and this is a perfect sun hat. This is so well made, and I love this company's hats on Amazon. These are so 
great. And I, I just think this is the cutest hat for a sun hat because it's going to cover your face completely. It's got a big enough brim, brim, bleh, brim for that, but it's not huge, you know, so I really do like that. And look how cute the back of it is. Isn't that cute with just the bow and then the way that it, you know, comes out there. So you could wear a ponytail right there if you wanted to as well. Now we're just going to stick with that for just a second. I ordered these two scarves and I'll show you the scarfs in a second, but how cute would it be to just put a scarf around that and wear it that way too? It would be just so dang cute. So yes, I love the hat and I love the sunglasses. And yes, I probably just messed up my hair completely. Really nice straw hat. Um, I've had this one in the closet for the winter and now I'm bringing it out and it just came back into its shape so nicely. So these are really good hats from that company. So now to talk about these scarves. These scarves are so pretty. They are the most fine chiffon, beautiful scarves. This one is in pink and purple. And then look at the detailing on the bottom of it. Isn't it just gorgeous? Oh my goodness. It's just so pretty. I love having scarves like this in the summertime to put in my hair. I, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of a little bit of old school as far as scarves go. I know that they're not exactly in style right now, but you can take a scarf and just tie it and you can tie it up at the top and then tie it in a big bow if you want or you can just take it and move it around and this is going to completely mess my hair up but that's okay so you can tie it around pull your ear out from behind it right there and then you can just have it you know laying down with your hair like that i love scarves they are just something that i feel like can uh, finish an outfit these are really pretty if you wanted to tie them up and put them on a purse so that's the purple one right there and then i have this beautiful blue one which would have looked a lot better with what I was trying to show you with my hair. But they're just the most beautiful. They have a ton of colors, an absolute ton of colors and prints in these two. And they're very inexpensive, I thought. So since I'm wearing the blue top, I put on my blue sneakers this morning. I bought these because I love, first of all, I love the print. The print is so cool on them. They look so great. When I got them home and I started feeling in them, I thought, Boy, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it. It wasn't like memory foam in there or anything, but these are so comfy and I've been wearing these since way early this morning, just around the house and they feel like a dream on my feet. They're totally comfortable. I know that I um, have been wearing these all day long and never had any problem, never any, you know, sometimes they'll rub a little callus or something. Even sometimes when I get sketchers, I'll get a little bit of a callus that I have to get used to on certain things, not these. These are great and I just wear them with a little no-show sock and they have a bunch of colors in these too so these have been wonderful addition to my wardrobe i really like these i really like these too i don't think i've shown these before i might have shown these before but i don't do really well with sandals that have the flip-flop thong piece right here that go in between your toes so i like them when they're just a sandal and I liked these too because they have that bling on them. I'm actually thinking about ordering these in another color. These have been really fun, super comfortable, and I just like the way that they go with so many of my outfits because they are that neutral color. And then right now, a lot of us are doing our gearing up for our vacations. And if you are flying anywhere, this little thing can be your best friend. This is actually to weigh how much your suitcase weighs, this little gadget is. And I think this is great because because most airlines, you can't go over 50 pounds, 40 pounds, whatever it is for that particular airline. And you have no way of really knowing that unless you pick up your thing, get on the scales and then get off and weigh yourself again. How depressing is that when you're already on your way to go to a really nice vacation? Anyway, I love this. You just pick up your suitcase and you can, it, the digital display right there tells you how much it is. So you know whether or not you've gone over your limit and you're going to have to be charged more at the airport. So really have been liking that. I also want to show you another thing for um, vacationing and kind of a luggage type thing. This is a jewelry case that I found very recently. And I really like this jewelry case. First of all, it's huge. It has a ton of room in it. You can hang it on a door if you want to. You have right here, six compartments, different zipper compartments. I put a tennis bracelet in there. What I like about the necklace part is you have two different rows of necklaces. And then down here, you can put into the little straps that are elastic. You can secure them down so they're not getting all tangled together. So I probably should 
should have put these shorter ones in the bottom row, but basically you get the idea of that. And then what I like about the next row, really like about it, you can put the hook earrings on here and you can also put the ones that have the back on there. And I really like that. And then this snaps so you can pull that out and you know put your earrings on there more securely then snap them down. And then, sorry about the phone. <laughs> and then right here is where you can put your rings. You have another zipper pocket right here for whatever you want. And then a couple of bigger pockets that I put some bracelets in over there. So again, you can hang it over a door and you have everything at your disposal. And then it just folds up and it's very lightweight. So I thought that was great about it too. When you're traveling, you don't want a lot of weight anyway. So this is really good to just be able to, you know, throw it in your bag, your carry on if you want to, so that your jewelry, jewelry is secure. I really like that about it. I also wanted to show you a couple purses. I'm so in love with this little crossbody satchel. I think it's so cute. It comes with that little tassel on there and then this little fuzzy detail right here. You can have that on or not. You don't have to hook it on there. And it has adorable, I love the braiding all the way around it on the flap. It's so cute. And then it has plenty of room inside and a zipper pocket there. You also have a zipper pocket on the back, which I like. And the strap is obviously adjustable so you can wear it crossbody if you want to. I also love the texturing on this. Now it kind of looks marbled, but it's not. It's just the texturing on it. And this is vegan le leather. So it's the, you know, it's not really leather, but I just really think that they did a great job on this. And this one comes in a lot too. And this little purse holds so much more than I thought it would. I was so impressed with that. My next one I want to show you is actually quite ingenious. And this is something that I was really surprised at. I was like, that is really cool. So I'm gonna show you down in that purse again, but you know how when you look down in a purse and you're like, I can't see a thing down in there. Well, let's turn the light on. Let's illuminate that a little bit, should we? That is a little light that just sits down in there and basically it's just a string light. This is what it is right here. And you just get that little string light and you can turn it off or you can turn it on. And this lights up the bottom of your purse so well. This is something that I never knew I needed. If you have something that you're looking for in the bottom of one of these purses that just has one pocket and you're not organized like me, you can just look down in there and find whatever you need down in there. I just thought that was so great. And yeah, just one of those things that you never knew you needed until you got it. So that is a purse light. And then the next one is another adorable purse. And I love this one because it is just like a wallet purse. So you basically just have, you know, the purse that has the, you know, the flap over it. I love this mint green. This is so cute. This does have the little marbling detail and it does have the strap that goes over. And so you can take that strap off though if you just wanna use it as a clutch. And it's just the right size for a clutch too. So I love the gold detailing on it and you open that up. It's big enough for your credit cards, another wallet, another little wallet, if you had one to put in there. And it's big enough for a cell phone, lipstick, if you have a bunch of stuff that you need to take. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I really love that it is the crossbody that you can wear super light. It's not heavy like so many are. Now, I also wanna show you these right here. And these are just little chains that you can use on your luggage, on your backpacks, your purses, your crossbodies, whatever, to dress them up. And it comes in a set of four, comes in a gunmetal, it comes in kind of a yellowish um, gold, it comes in kind of almost the, a cross between yellow gold and rose gold, and then it comes in the silver. So I'm just gonna detach one of the sides of these, and then I'm gonna take the one that I have here, and I'm gonna put that on there, and then I'm going to attach that on there as well. And now you have just a little bit more interest in your purse. You have that chain that is on there. You can also just take it and hook it to where it's just like a little chain on there just for a little bit added detailing if you wanted it to the to be like that. And then if you wanted to just grab that little bit more of a rose gold one and you could put it on there as well with another charm if you want to on a purse like this that has a place where you can attach this kind of stuff. So much fun to get all four of those. You can dress up just about any purse with those colors. And I just thought that was all kinds of fun. Now I think I saved the funnest product for the last 
blast. Okay, first of all, look at this purse. It is so cute. Isn't that just the cutest purse? It has the detailing on it. It has the chain that is, you know, the metal chain and then a little bit of detailing with the different um, zipper parts right here. I just thought this was just the cutest purse and it's got, you know, kind of the rosy pink leather on it. It just looks so cute. It's just, what an adorable purse, right? Guess what? It's not a purse. It's either a toiletry or a makeup organizer. And I could not believe this. This is so cute. Can you believe how cute that is? So you hook that on there to keep it out of the way when you're using it as a purse. You could use it as a purse if you wanted to, but it holds so much. So you have a mesh bag up here at the top. You have a hanger that can hang on any closet or over a door. You have one bag right here that, or one pouch right here that holds a ton. This one actually came with these three plastic dispensers that you can put your own shampoos and whatnot into there. And it holds a full bottle of my Suko Yako Suhada Urea Lotion and then another pocket down here. But then all you have to do when it's time is just fold that baby up and it looks like a purse. I just thought that was the cutest dang thing. I've not seen anything that cute in a long time. And they have a few different colors of it. And yeah, I thought this was great because if you're somebody that worries about your makeup not showing up with you or your skincare not showing up with you, you just use this as your purse or to put inside of your carry-on. And yeah, how cute is that? It was just so dang cute. So I hope that you did enjoy today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing the Amazon picks that I have for you. Thanks so much for joining me. Tell me about all of your Amazon finds. I love hearing about those as well. Right now I'm going to put up my most recent Amazon video right here so that you can look at it and go over and check it out. Maybe there's some goodies in there that you missed from last time that you might like to have. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. Take care of yourselves. I love you much and this is Mrs. Melissa M signing off for today. Bye my friends.